Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to play Bloodborne with keyboard and mouse. So for this to work, we will need to use this application called ReWASD, ReWast. So just download it, press it, press try for free. Oh, there's our download. Let's start the download. This is probably our ReWast installer. Yeah, so let's install the application. Uh, so configure sets of options. Nope. Nope. Okay, green install. Let the app install into your computer. This should be very quick. Okay, almost done. All right. Now, as you can see, you need to restart your computer to begin the new experience. So let us restart the computer. Press close. Okay, after rebooting the computer, just accept the terms of use. And now let us begin the sign up, uh, the setup process. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have made a new mouse profile. So in the initial, initial installation, choose mouse. After that, under the main player, click on the uh, plus icon and press on keyboard and mouse to gamepad. A new shift layer will be created now. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Now our keyboard and mouse are grouped together. And now we basically need to bind our buttons, right? So depending on what you want, for example, the attack. In Bloodborne, attack is uh, binded to R1. So you should set it to R1. So let us find R1. Where is this button? There you go, RB. Okay, now we have... And basically you bind all of the buttons uh, to your mouse and then to your keyboard for your controls, right? So let us do that. Alright guys, so to not reconfigure everything on your own, just uh, use the link that we'll provide in the video description to download a ready config, okay? So that you don't have to bind anything. All right, now just uh, open this config that you've downloaded. Uh, name it Bloodborne. Right, let's just uh, create a new one. Bloodborne. Import. Mm, one, two, three. Import. Do you want to save changes? Yes. Okay, and now this should be already done and working pretty much. Yep, yep, it's already set. So let us now enter the emulator and see if this works. All right, so let us try. Let us see if this actually works. Oh yeah, it actually does. Let me actually check which buttons uh, <laughs> do what. Give me a second. And you can, as you can see guys, now my keyboard works and now you can play guys. So just import this profile. It's so, so simple. Enjoy this tutorial, hopefully this helps. Guys, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.